In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to take a quick look at how to do a freeze frame. There are occasions when you have a video and you want to freeze the action. You may want to add some extra narration. You may want to do something visually. You may even want to make it a kind of transition and you can do that with a freeze frame effect. We'll show you one quick example of that and then we'll show you how to create something like that. All you need to do is find the frame where you want to freeze your action. I'm going to play a little bit of this video and we have the camera going up as we zoom in on the businesses on this corner as we try to sell some of this vacant property you see here to someone. And so we'll wait till the camera elevates right about there and then we'll make that our freeze frame. Now you can change the actual frame you use. Here's the uh, minutes, seconds and frames. You can click the right arrow, step forward, or you can do the step back. And you notice the frame number changes. I prefer to use the keyboard, right arrow and left arrow key. So let's go to frame number 27 in second 14, and that's where we'll freeze our action. In order to make it happen, we click on the tools at the very top and choose the third item down, which is freeze frame. Now we have a pop-up screen that gives us some very useful information. It has a large thumbnail of that frame and you can do several things with it. One of the things you can do is you can extract candid photos from the entire clip. Now this is a very powerful new tool in Premiere Elements 2018. It's so full featured we'll have a separate tutorial on that. So we'll skip that button for now. Uh, you can also simply, without modifying your video, export that frame as a picture. So if I click on the export button, it wants a name for it. I'll just call this uh, a test. And then you can put a file location. You can choose whether you want a JPEG, BMP, or GIF file extension. And then I click on Save. And now all I've done is extracted that one frame as a still picture that I can use any way I want in any program that can manage a still image. The other option is the one we'll use today, which is Insert in Movie. Now you also have, if you have Photoshop Elements, an edit in Photoshop Elements after inserting. Now I'll show you another way to get there if you want to. But here's where you can set the duration of the pause in your video. I can just hover the mouse over this and drag it to the right and I increase it up to 99 seconds. So let's just go to maybe seven or eight and we'll insert it for eight. We'll show you how you can change that later. So once I've got the frame duration, if I want to pause the action on this frame, I simply click insert in movie. And now it adds this as a new element in my project assets box and then it inserts it for the number of seconds I chose. So if I go ahead and play my video, we have action here. You see the cars moving on the roads and then it will freeze. No action, no movement whatsoever. And then it will resume with everything that moves once again, moving as you see here. So that's a great way to use the freeze frame effect. Now, let's look at something else here. When I'm in this particular clip, if I want to edit it, if I own Photoshop Elements 2018, I can right click on it, click on Edit, and click on Edit in Adobe Photoshop Elements. And for example, I could go over here into my effects mode or maybe my adjustments mode. I could take my color turn my saturation all the way down so it's black and white and I can click on file and I can click on close 
And do I want to save the changes? I'll say yes. It wants a name for it. I'll click on save. Do I want to replace it? Yes. And I'll click on OK. And now I'm going to close my Photoshop editor. And now if I look very carefully, what happened was I have now the same file in the edited format. It's color until I get to my freeze. When I get to my freeze frame, not only does it freeze the action, it changes the color. Now you could change all kinds of other things in Photoshop. You could add text. Um, you can make other variations, but it's just an interesting way to combine the abilities of both of the programs. So that's a very simple way to freeze a frame in Adobe Premiere Elements with or without using the additional tools of Photoshop Elements.